Hey guys, welcome back to Ski Sunday with Sarah. So, the Inghams have finally made it onto something moderately exciting. You know, after days upon days upon days upon days of just lounging around in the van. And they finally managed to do something. Guys, I can't cope. I don't want to do it. There's something else making me. Ah! Yes, you are. Ah! I don't want to do it then. Is that all right if I don't? No. no. Uh, they're making me. I don't want to Look, do it. I'll go with you, okay? You need to ski at least once in your life, and you, you haven't been able to do it because both times you've been pregnant. Yeah, but there's like four year olds going right to the top of that mountain. Exactly. That's just give you some confidence boost, Mum. No. Well, it's not a confidence no. boost. No. Yeah, it's, they live here, it's so they get to do, do this. Whole... Look at them going over that. Yeah, no, it's crazy. They're like, oh my god, they're jumping. They're flying so high up in the air. <gasps> he flew then. That's what I kid, like, younger like than Jay's can... go from the top. Like, That's what I mean. Don't worry, Sarah. You two can fly through the air like a bird, like a plane, like the beautiful, flowery, fluttery butterfly that you are. Yeah. <laughs> And they're all going to be watching me tumble like a bouncy ball on that kid's bit there. <laughs> no, no, Sarah, you are the graceful little flower that we know you are. You don't come tumbling down, roly poly down the hill, you know, making a snowball. It's, like, you know, it's not you. That's not you. That's not the Sarah Ingham that we know and love so much. Okay. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm only going on the children's bit. Same. Okay. Right. Yeah, you're, you're, I don't want to do it. Did I tell you the other day? Thing. I'm not saying 100. Yeah. But I don't Guys, think we're understand. just doing what we're comfortable with, and that's it. And I'm not comfortable doing anything, so I'm going to watch. No, <laughs> I can't go get ready. Come no, on, Mom. let's go get ready. Get the Getting all sussy and booted. <laughs> What's your um? <laughs> what size, Esme? Twenty-three yeah. centimeters, <laughs> whatever that may be. Stop, Esme! I'm so annoyed. Such an idiot. <laughs> Such an idiot. Look how hard I am sweating, guys. You don't understand how hard these are to get on your feet. Like, like these are bad boy hard to get on your feet. They are bad boy hard. <laughs> don't even know what that is, right? I really do, really don't know what that is. Do your audience know? I mean, you're, talk you're talking in like kid code, is it? Like young youth sort of code and none of your fans are that anymore sarah most of your fans are like middle-aged vulnerable adults so you know maybe you're talking to the wrong crowd a little bit i've just literally spent i don't even know how long because i couldn't work out all the fiddly bits because obviously chris is not here he's used to these he would put them straight on i didn't know what i was doing so i was trying to work it all out myself literally just got them all tied up onto my feet Said to Esme, yeah, I did it. And what did you say, Esme? Are these ski pants? I forgot to put my ski pants on. <laughs> so now I've got to take them all back off and start all over again. I want to quit before I start him. Guys, I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone today. I'm straight out of that comfort zone. And I'm doing it for the girls. <laughs> Chris said that once, he said, I'm doing it for the girls, and um, it got him into a lot of trouble, remember? The girls, yeah, the allegations, yeah, it did get him into a lot of trouble, uh, so probably best not to do it for any girls. And myself, it's good to push yourself to do things that you wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable doing. I bet by the end of the day I'm buzzing that I did it, or I'll have a broken arm and I'll be in hospital. It just goes from bad to worse. It's a bell stop for it. I've brought one of Dad's gloves. Actually, that's got a, that's got a hand warmer in it. Yeah. So that won't be Dad's because he doesn't wear them. Put I've literally Donald brought Ray. two right gloves. So I'm gonna have to wear one upside down without flopping in my way now. That's so annoying. Yeah. Hey girls, ready? Hello, my ski girls. Why are my legs aching already? Come on. I'm not even stood up. I'm not even stood up. My legs are aching. I'm done. That was so much hard work. I've never been so attracted to you as I am right now, Sarah. So beautiful. So amazing. So lovely. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. 
Right, let's go. I'm so out of my comfort zone right now. <laughs> but we're outside, the skis are not on yet. Guys, when I tell you there's two year olds, two year olds on these slopes, I am not exaggerating. And I know that's because obviously they grow up here, they spend every weekend here, this is their life, this is what they've been born doing. I can't pretend as an adult, it don't make me feel like a bit of a lolly when I can't even walk without the, without the skis on. <laughs> I'm terrified to move. Wait, I'm sorry, but I want to roll down the <laughs> That's what I mean, what do you do if you start rolling backwards? If she's on sideways. Just go sideways? Yeah. Is it easy to do that? Sideways. Oh, it's windy. You excited, Esme? I'm a bit scared, actually. You're a bit scared? When she, when she, you, you always feel a bit like that when you first start. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Esme seems to be scared quite a lot about various different things, like, you know, opening gifts and uh, Christmas morning seems to scare her. Um, Easter morning scares her. Um, surprises scare her. Opening gifts, I've said that, but also scares her. Um, various different weird and wonderful things scare her. So when, you, when she actually says here, she's scared how do you know whether or not to believe that it's an actual scare or not once you get you know once you get going ah! go to the side go to the side yeah see that's how you stop you did it yeah. yes mom you stopped yeah. that's how you do it you just like put your feet to the side okay mommy i'm gonna go down that the bump okay everyone going up yes mommy make sure your feet are straight before you get on otherwise you'll fall before you hold on to it, make sure your feet are in a straight line. Otherwise you'll get pulled and then you'll fall. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> Mom, you <laughs> I gotta say, Esme does seem to be a bit of an expert, having hardly ever done skiing herself. It must be all that uh, skiing uh, filtering that she puts on TikTok, right? Yeah, ready? Goes to the side, side to side. Yes, mommy, you're a pro. Yes, mommy. <laughs> that was amazing. I was watching you, so I hope I filmed that. <laughs> yes, yes mum. So I live just there, coming down. Yeah. Woohoo! I'm absolutely boiling. Are you boiling? Yeah. I'm sweating. Yes, I live. I just went from to the near the top. I saw. Well that done. Is like, that is how far I went. But last time we were here, that was by the end of the day I got that far. Yeah. We're going to be here ten minutes. We've only been here 10 minutes. Well done. I'm going to go to the top. Go on then. Am I? Okay, I'm going to do it. I think Esme's doing a hump. Yeah. I'm well proud of Sarah today. She's absolutely bossed it. First, oh, first time skiing and you're doing really well, man. Oh, hang on a second. There was I thinking that Chris had actually stayed behind at the van with the younger kids. But no, he's come out. Presumably with the younger kids, although I don't see any of them around. I'm absolutely knackered. My fingers are on fire. That's why I'm getting arthritis in my fingers. <laughs> um, what was I just going to say? I fell. I stumbled. Uh, you only... Do you know why I did that? She didn't fall. What she did was she started going fast and she panicked. That's all she did. And I rolled down the hill on my back. Yeah, but you didn't fall. You were done, you were done and fine. And I was stuck because I couldn't get up because of my skis. And you didn't film that? Come on, so that would have been like the best part of the entire vlog if you'd done that. You know, I want to see Sarah Ingham struggle and get a ski stuck and rolling about and wriggling about and things like that that's what we're here for not other you know the ski sunday expert pros type thing <laughs> on the children's slope while the two-year-old is skiing past me don't worry about it babe tomorrow but, tomorrow you'll be going on the mountains no i will not you will you're fine but what i was just gonna say is I'd watch that one if I were you, Sarah. Chris will be, in fact, pushing you off the mountain, so probably best to take your skis with you. I'm loving it, though. Yeah, man. I'm not good. I'm loving it. It's so much fun. I'm so proud of the girls. 
I'll talk later on about that, but I'm so proud of how well they've done. It's really windy out here, probably. I was going to say, I, wish I'd, I should have put the microphone on. I feel like it's yeah. going to be too windy for it. Look at Isla. Go on, Isla. Woohoo! Yeah, girl. Guys, I went up the big slope and I went down this, one of the steepest hills. So good, babe. So I'm proud of myself. In a minute, can you come round and watch you come down the slope? Yeah, we'll do, of course. One. It's so good. I'm so proud of Moya. She's doing so good. It Finally, finally, Isla has found something that she's enjoying actually doing, right? Not, you know, instead of just lazing around in the in the van, she is actually out there enjoying herself and excelling at it. So that's nice to see. Here she comes. She's going from the higher bit. You can't get the steepness on the camera at all, but it, you know, it's got a good steepness on this hill. This is the one she panicked on before. Oh, she's doing good. That's it. Perfect. See? You got it down now. So after this, funny. after this, we'll warm his cockles up inside with a nice, nice hot dog and that. You know that last time. Oh my gosh! Somebody were eating these Swedish kebab <laughs> things. Is that how good did they look? Huh? Oh. <laughs> how good did the Swedish kebabs look? Oh. That's what we we'll get after this. If you, if you, if you, yeah. if you be a good girls. Oh, we have been. I went down a massive, I went down a massive mountain there. No arguing today. No. <laughs> Do you know when I was coming down that hill there? Yeah. Then, did I like a potato? No, or not. You don't like a potato at all. You look nice. <laughs> you know what I'm envisioning? What? Probably not what you can see. <laughs> no, you look good. You look great. I'm envisioning this proper slender. You like a proper. Yeah. That's what I feel like I am. That's what you look like. Oh yeah, don't worry Sarah, you look exactly how you feel, right? You feel like you're a professional, slender, lovely, elegant, beautiful. That's exactly what we're seeing too. Not <laughs> yeah, you do. You look lovely what you you're talking about. You know the kind about. of expectations versus reality? No, that's how you I look. I feel like that's the situation. <laughs> Go on, have fun. You've only got an hour left in the ski lift. Oh, no way. I've got a little miss Rory fast asleep in the sling on me right now. Of course you have. Of course you have. That poor baby doesn't get a break, does she? Has to just be there in the snow and freezing cold the whole time, right? Just, just there. And it feels like she's like a prop or something. It's so cute. I'm really glad Sarah's getting to go and do this today. I really, I wanted to her to have like the first go. The, the sleeves are open 10 till 4 today. So I say I'm just like, I want Sarah to have the full day today just to get used to the skis and just have a good time. So I'm a little bit confused about the calculations here. You say it's open 10 till 4. You want her to have the whole day. And yet you say it's only open for another hour. So, therefore, it's only open for another hour. Therefore, it's 3 o'clock. And you've been there for what? A little bit of time? That doesn't feel like you've taken advantage of the entire day. I, I don't know. So I will ski tomorrow. I've got my skis all set up ready to go. And um, I'll ski tomorrow. And we'll just take it in turn. Sarah and me tomorrow, half and half. You are right, mate? Yeah. Anyway, it's been so fun watching these guys having crazy times on these sledges here. You've been watching them having a crazy time. Well, I've got to be... <laughs> I don't want to be the one to break this to you, Chris, but... At some point, not too long ago, you were actually filming Sarah come down the, the skiing, right? You weren't looking at your kids. You didn't even know where they were, did you? They weren't in shot and probably not in earshot either. You were blethering on to Sarah, filming Sarah, talking to Sarah. At one point, you even had Isabel and the other kids there. So I don't really know where the, the younger kids actually were at the time. Yeah, darling? Okay, you don't want a sledge no more? <laughs> Mina's done, she's had enough sledging today. But she's become proper confident today on her sledge, which is a brilliant. Because she wasn't yesterday and now today she's bossing it. Oh, bless. Bless the girls having such a good day. Like where the, that hut there, to be able to see the coming 
down. Yeah, we'll just be higher. You go okay. around again and I will do. Is Mummy finished? Is she not skiing anymore? No, I think she is still done. Okay. Yeah, they're going up! Yes! Woo! Big ski lift to the big, big hill! Yes! So fun going up these. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself that I can actually do it. Woohoo! Woohoo! So it was interesting that they're finally actually having a bit of fun, you know. I mentioned that earlier about Isla having fun and actually enjoying herself for a change, but they all are, so that is good for a change. This is my issue, though. It's not like the regular, it's not the norm. They have to spend weeks on the road in order to get one nice day. <laughs> That was the best fun I've ever had. That was so good. That was so fun. I had a really good time. I had the best time ever. It was so much fun. And I absolutely loved being able to, you know, just do something with the older girls. Obviously sledging and things. I feel like I'm always taking care of the younger ones. But it was really cool to be able to just do something just with the older girls. It was so far. I feel bad you didn't get a turn today. <laughs> Chris didn't get a turn. Aurora's fast asleep on him. I in the sleep. But um, I just had a really good time. It was so sweet how encouraging the girls were as well. Like, really cute. Like, every time they went up the slope, like, they were going up on the ski lift at the side of me. And I was just on the baby rope. <laughs> but even though, like, they were going up faster than me, and I'm just stood there, like, mm, going up on the baby rope, they were always like, yes, mum! Go on, mum! And, like, it's just really sweet. It's really nice. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it and we had such a good time. But now where are we? And now where are we, Isabel? <laughs> Dad's just said, oh, I guess we're not eating. My feet are so cold. Do you not right listen to what I just said? Oh no, sorry, what? I just said we've got a table over there. And then I was like, oh, there's one here near the fire. Should we not just go sit on that one? And then Dad said, well, yeah, I guess so. We're not eating, are we? No, we are. <laughs> I just worked out. I just did a workout pulling myself up them lifts. It's hard, isn't it? Pulling it's yourself really up them lifts. Hard. It's really hard. Well, I, it's, I, actually, it's not as hard as I was expecting. It's not as hard as I was expecting, but it is a work. It's definitely a workout. I had a great time. I only fell once, and I loved it. You were as well. <laughs> like everyone else went. Oh, mum, are you okay? And I had to turn around because I was fucking so hard. Like, yeah, but I just stayed there on the floor. Said you lied. Isabel, you said go to the top, you don't go that fast, so I did, and I literally flew down panicked, threw myself on the floor. <laughs> it was so I was like, pull myself up and go, mum, it's fine, I love you, don't worry. I was like, oh, my legs are tangled. <laughs> if you fall down, guys, you pick yourself up and you try again. Yeah, that's what I did. And I loved it. There's May and Isla. Who's that? Get them in. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. I don't want to do it. Um, Edna and Alice are still out there. The lifts are still on for another. It, the, the thing doesn't close. It's just that the lifts stop because obviously need somebody there to um, to attend the lifts. What, what, what word am I looking for? Yeah, Run the lift. yeah, there's lifts over that side as well. There's lifts on both sides. There's there's more there's more slopes here than I thought. It's, this is honestly such a such a good place to come. I know that I keep saying this on this trip, but this is like the best possible trip in my opinion that you can do as a family because 
There's just so many fun activities that you can do. You want to go for a spa and a chill out day? Swedish spas are like a massive deal over here. You want to feel adventurous and, and go in hike, hike to the top of a glacier? No problem. You want to do a bit of family fun skiing, sledging, snowmobiling. There's just so much to do. And the ironic thing with that, Sarah, is that you haven't done any of it, right? Okay, you've had a really nice day here, but you've been there in that location for two days waiting for this one day, right? You've also driven around Scandinavia and done nothing, you know, the entire time you've been there. And yet you have one really nice day, which is lovely, but the rest of the time it's on the road, isn't it? Driving to and from different snowy mountains, it just feels like you're not quite taking advantage of all these said, you know, activities that you could be doing. It's like the best trip you can do, it's my absolute favourite. Don't get me wrong, I love a summer holiday, but that is pretty much just sitting around the pool. And I like that as well, but this is just me, just, just constantly like fun days and just I just absolutely love it here in Scandinavia. It's okay, right, so um, it's constant fun days apparently, but to the casual observer, it's almost if you, as if you've been sitting around the van and driving on the road for days upon days upon days upon days upon days, you know? Um, it doesn't feel like that you've had constant fun days, right? Not quite sure where those have come from. Now, you say you... You know, summer holiday, you definitely prefer your hot weather, okay? I don't care what you say, but for you, it's just sitting around the pool, and that's fine. But in this way, here, you're just sitting around a van, you know? That's, there's no real difference. It's my absolute favourite. I've had such a good day today, and that's what I was just getting on to. I feel like today, I want to say it's been the best day of the trip, but then I think back to, like, the spa day that we did, and that glacier wall, and when we went to that top of the mountain, that sky sky lift they were all my favorite days of my life as well so. favorite days of your life right okay so um i don't i don't really know what to say i mean i've it, it doesn't feel like you've portrayed it in the right, right way then if you feel like it's been these amazing days out and an amazing trip it doesn't feel like you've portrayed it in that way maybe it's chris's editing that's the problem maybe in fact you are having the most amazing time day after day after day but chris is editing it to make it look shit for some reason but you know only he would know that that. I just having so much fun on this trip. Anyway, um, the girls have got about 20 minutes left while the, the lift is still running. So they're out there doing that. And then I, do, I think we might have to order food, babe. I know you said we're not. No. We did say we were going to cook up there. That's all we're going to eat, innit? We'll do. A what? Late night wieners. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. So tomorrow? I just burped as I was talking. We'll still have a fire later. We'll have a fire. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll cook up there tomorrow. We'll have a special we'll last we'll night. We'll make a cup of tea up there tonight. Yeah, that's what I really wanted to do that. We'll make a cup of tea on the fire. Yeah, but um, we'll cook on there tomorrow for our last, because we're going to leave then. But um, we're going to order some food. Okay, so I just want to point this out because I didn't at the time, but I was reminded of it yesterday, right? So Valentine's Day came and went and not one mention of it from anyone on the vlogs at all. I know Sarah, the day before, or two days before, whatever it was, um, got those Valentine's donut things, right? And she said, this is for Valentine's, but there was no mention of, like, what Chris got for Sarah. Did Chris get Sarah a card? Did the girls get Sarah a card? Did the the parents get the girls cards you know stuff like that things that happen you know in families and stuff like that and there was no mention whatsoever did they celebrate valentine's day did they do anything did they go out for a special meal or what happened did they just cook a little bit of slop or a bit of extra slop with a little heart you know in it i don't know right but it wasn't mentioned, that's my point. What did you say? A human, not a mate. Okay. 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 Okay
Okay, we've just bought some drinks. We're going to wait for food until pears. the girls get back. Don't I think Chris has just gone to... Um, we got pears. Oh, we got pear, didn't you? Chris has just gone to drone yeah. the girls on the hills, I think. Yeah, I'm hoping Mila's first. Okay. Good as well. I can do this. Like, she's so thirsty, doesn't it? I was so thirsty. There you go. Was all that sledging hard work, me there? All that sledging with Daddy. We to open it for you, JC. Bye. Yeah, I'm just gonna try open that. Don't do it like that. Look, push this end. Push it. Push it down like that. Push that down. Push it up. Like this. Watch. Ready? Hold it here. Hold it there. And then push the bottom. There. It's pushed out. It's pushed out. Look. Mm. <laughs> oh. Pull. Pull. There we go. <laughs> all right, guys. So, <laughs> I don't know if I started recording before you went. All right, guys. You did it right. Mum went up to order our yeah. dinner, right? And the guy said, you can order. There was good news. <laughs> there was, oh, There's Dad's good here. News. Wait, we need to tell Dad the news right, first. Dad, Dad. Right, we just told Dad the news. Anyways, That's lovely. <laughs> so, the good, right, so the bad news was that the guy said, you can't order. No, he didn't, he didn't say that. I just said that to you. Oh, right, okay. The well, guy was we like, well, we'll, it'll make sense in a minute when yeah. she tells you right, the good so news. We can't have kebabs right, right now. So mum came over, she went, the girl's bad news, can't have kebabs. And I just went, Isabel's like, I'm going home. Uh, <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> she didn't really. I'm joking. No, I'm joking, but I, I was disappointed. Inside. Yeah. She went, but the good news is they've got a kebab buffet in 20 minutes. Yeah. He said there's kebab meat, there's chicken and rice. Yeah, he said, yeah, he's like saying that, yeah. He said, so you can have, you can order a normal kebab now, or if you want, you can wait for the buffet. And I was like, we'll wait for the buffet. After all that exercise, do you know, like, you know you've been swimming for a while? Or you've been doing like, exercise for like a yeah. few hours, and you just yeah. need food? She needs to make good and big and... Okay, so I don't mean to shame anybody for anything, right? But... You, these do not do exercise on a regular basis to even know that you know after exercise you might get a bit peckish right they don't do anything the best that they do is swimming and even that's not as regular as it used to be right because they don't go on their the exciting exotic all-inclusive holidays anymore so you know how would they know what it feels like to to do exercise Tuesday. We've never had a kebab buffet. Ever. Who does kebab buffets? I'll tell you who does kebab buffets. Swedish. They know where it's at. <laughs> what? Chris just said we're moving to Sweden. Do you know what he, you know what he actually said? When we went round the corner to watch get the older girls come down the big steep mountain, he went, Do you think we should buy a holiday home in Sweden? <laughs> he literally says that everywhere we go. Oh, well, Sarah, don't worry. You do actually own a holiday home. Don't forget, it's in the UK. That's right, that big mansion. It's, uh, it's there for whenever you need it, right? It's like, yeah, but just imagine it. Because I was saying, because we were actually saying, like, how amazing is this life? Like, these people will probably just, like, get on with their lives throughout the week. And then every Friday night, because there's cabins here and also long-term caravans. And they're always full whenever on the weekend. Every weekend they're full. So what they probably do is they'll probably own one, but leave it here. And then every Friday night after school and work, drive here, stay in their little cabin for the whole weekend. Literally just ski. Ski and have fun all weekend. I dream. I love skiing. Yeah, this town as well, Sorcel. It's just so nice. Chris wants to live here. I want to hold me home in the snowmobile. Loads of wildlife. We don't need to buy a car. Just drive the sprint here and leave it. We've got a van here already. But it is a very nice place to be. And they do kebab buffets. Everybody likes kebab buffets. 
I'm sorry, but every what day is it today? Saturday. Every Saturday night, get yourself to kebab buffet. This place, right? I thought it was just a ski place, but it's not. It's obviously like a small resort. They've got um, what's it called? That house? I'll have to, service house. And it's really nice inside. It's got like if you if you like stay in here, you can get like a little key for. And inside it, it's like a little house. It's got a kitchen. It's got like a big corner sofa, a big TV. It's got showers. It's got like a laundry room. It's got a sauna. And it's just like free to use if you stay in here. Yeah, we got the grand tour the other day. Remember, Sarah? You know, the day of the absolutely insanely shitly boring vlog. That's right. Chris took us around the little um, hut or whatever it is, right? How did you manage to get a key fob to get into it? as you're not actually a resident of said area you said that if you're staying there you get free access but you're not staying there it's so good sorry guys wait for and fuck this is absolute bad boy isn't it yeah. isn't it so good yeah. chicken beef yeah. rice yeah. and the biggest salad bar yes jace Tell him you just put his tomatoes on. You did? Big boy. And some rice. Cucumber. Cucumber. And this. Lettuce. I'm gonna go get enough cup of water because me and the seems to have taken mine. <laughs> it's so delicious. And there's either you can either have standard like wraps or this like stone oven bread. I don't know what it is, but it's absolutely delicious. It really is. So good. All right, I've been back to the van to get some supplies. We've got some wood, we've got some kindling, we've got a fire log to get going. We've got some marshmallows, a kettle, water, hot chocolate, cream, and coffee for Isabel. We're going to make a fire pit. What did you just ask? What? What did you just ask me? It's in the house. Why? It's very hot. Because I'm very hot. I'll put the hoodie up. <laughs> no, leave it on. No. I'm, really, that's you've I'm just laughing because two minutes ago he said he was too cold. Right, um, the kettle was a fail because it's too cold. It's like minus 10 or something. And no, leave it on, darling. It's going to be 10 years without the thing heats off. One second. The, um, the kettle's got a plastic stout and a plastic handle, so we can't actually put it in the fire. So the cast iron's out. You can put that in the fire, babe. Can I? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said can I? So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a giant pot of hot chocolate in this. Okay, I, th I think we might be on, 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 um, boiling. Don't ask me what Esme, look at Esme and Isla. Holding a plastic stout. I know. Coming back to the van. <laughs> that noise is great. The noise is, just hearing them laugh like that is the best. Right, go on, I think we might be at boiling. I've got my gun so I can take the top off, careful with a bit of stick. A bit of stick. <laughs> <gasps> careful. Oh. Is it bubbling? Oh yeah. Can't see. <laughs> It's like a pot, it's like a witch's cauldron. Nice Half a tub of hot chocolate in there. Be careful, you guys. Oh. That's some more, I think. Some more hot chocolate? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We have appreciated our coolness for that one. We sat here in a mountain in minus 10 degrees, well, yeah. on a mountain, in the middle of Scandinavia in Sweden, and we're cooking up this massive pot of hot chocolate to share. In a cast iron. In, in a cast iron over a fire. With cream and marshmallows. It's the best, isn't it? Yeah. It's the absolute best. It's the best. We're nearly done. Just going to dip our cups in. 
Because we, we didn't bring a, a ladle. A, a ladle? Is it a ladle? Ladle. A ladle, so it's going to dip. Ladle. Uh, just a little bit first. Okay. Taste it. Tastes all right. Yeah, I'm very. I'm very. Jason almost just had a meltdown because Esme tried there. to steal his cup with a J on it. <laughs> yes, you did. So, so good. So good. What are you saying, guys? What's the verdict of campfire hot so chocolates? Good. Delicious! <laughs> Delicious! Best hot chocolate in the world. Oh, feels right for me. Like, she's sat there for ages waiting for it and like, I know. Gone to sleep. Bless her. No, she's knocking them out. Bless her. Excuse the pink lighting, I found. But I don't want to turn on the big lights because it's just cosy and well, these two, these three, in fact. Uh, well, Mila's fast asleep. <laughs> Jace just said, I'm laying down. Can I want to go to sleep? I'm and you said you're tired, didn't you? Yeah, I did say I'm tired. You did? Why are you tired? Because I've had, because I have a very busy day. What have you been doing? <laughs> That's the silliest word in the world. Is it silly me saying that? <laughs> Why? He just said, because I've been talking so much sledging so much i was like yeah it's been a busy day it has been the best day ever chris has just gone to pack away all of the skis and things we've got like a two day hire so we've still got those for tomorrow um i think chris is gonna go to the top of that mountain tomorrow with the girls and i'm gonna be here to watch it's gonna be a funny one esme and isla have gone to wash up the cups from our delicious hot chocolates that was so nice and yeah i think we're just gonna wind down for this of the evening maybe find a little program on netflix you know what you could do sarah you know since you're in sweden in a foreign country instead of watching netflix you know um choosing like your english speaking countries programs right could find like a swedish tv channel and like just see what they have to offer on swedish tv it could be a memory you know it could be a memory instead of watching yet another netflix series hey sweetheart yeah i'll put the telly in a second okay, but the mama? <laughs> oh girl face Hello. Where's the one on? I thought I was in here. Where's the one? Away, close. Away. Oh, Mila's <laughs> just saying, go away, Jace. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 she said this. Go away, Jace. <laughs> oh. Just because she's asleep and you're oh. rolling on her. <laughs> right, thank you all oh, so, so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 pm. Good night, guys. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. Um, if I'm not mistaken, or if I understand this correctly, tomorrow's vlog is also going to be a ski vlog. So um, that should be exciting. It's a, it's a difficult one, I've got to say, right? Because by them skiing for a second day in a row, that's something they want to do. And it is actually fun, right? So it's good that the kids are getting some fun for a change instead of just sitting around doing nothing in the van, right? So that's good. But also from a, a watcher's perspective, it's not really fun because we've seen them do skiing today. Do we want to watch them do skiing again for a second day? Probably not. It doesn't make for great vlog content unless they do something extraordinarily different when they do the skiing. So I don't know, right? It's, um, can we say let's not vlog the skiing because we've seen it already because that might deny them having fun when the kids having fun is probably outweighs us like enjoying the vlog anyway that's my piece so what i wanted to say was thank you to everybody who continues to stick by me day after day after day and watch my videos because i really do appreciate it i know lots of things go on and certain things have happened recently and everybody's still stuck by me and i've still put up these type of videos which sometimes i don't really have a lot of things to say because of the nature of what they're vlogging really uh, you know 
I like to snark on Chris and Sarah, but if they're not really saying anything worthwhile to discuss, it's kind of difficult, you know. But you're still here and you're still watching, so for that I'm grateful. Thank you so much. If you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. There's a little box specifically for that purpose. If you click that, that would be brilliant. Thank you all so much. Please comment all of your thoughts about it down below and thumbs up for the video. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.